company, when we talk to voters on the campaign trail who ask you about the fraud every stop, we go to them after and they say they feel like they didn't get enough information. They, First off, still what you just said is absolutely untrue. You ask questions about the fraud. People, oh, no. No, people I can tell you right now, is, is people care about jobs. What they care about in this state is they care about jobs. Next question. Yes, sir. It hit pretty hard from day one on the Medicare fraud, and I know it's an issue that has to be addressed, whether you were directly involved or not. And I think the people need to know exactly what happened and how it was resolved. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So if you go back, we I started a company from scratch. Uh, we went from two. Uh, oh, the question is question was about uh, the Medicare fraud. So that was the question. Yes, sir. Sure. The question is on the Medicare fraud. But there's a lot of garbage being thrown on the TV station. And it could be slander. I'm sure a lot of people feel like I do. We don't know. And so it's hard to filter through that stuff. We want to vote for the right person. And if we simply don't vote because we believe the slander on both sides, that's a vote for the wrong person by not voting. Right. What can you share with us about sure. all the nasties we've heard? It's not a big issue for me, but I think it is probably a, a big issue for a lot of people. And a lot of people that I would maybe talk to about mm -hmm. uh, Rick Scott, that my friends might hear sure. that issue. And I wanted to have some ammunition to tell them. Sure. Uh, do, you, did you, do you think you got a good answer? or? <laughs> I'm not sure I can put it into the same words, but I, I was reasonably satisfied with it. Now, the company paid fines. Uh, what I, you know, look, when you're a CEO of a company, if people make mistakes, you take responsibility. So anything that happened on my watch, I take responsibility for. So when you, whatever happens, you have to take responsibility. So in that case, uh, the company paid uh, Medicare fines. Um, the, and so I take responsibility for the things that happened on my watch. Now, you know, the company ultimately paid fines. Uh, so what I've told people is, look, I always level with people that, you know, people made mistakes. When you're the CEO of a company, whatever company, if something goes wrong, you have to take responsibility. But what do you take responsibility for in that, uh, in, in this part of the... So, so, look, if a company, if you build a company, right, and somebody makes mistakes and you're the CEO, you have to take responsibility for that. And what I did is we did a great job. We built a great team. We had the great patient satisfaction, great outcomes, great to reduce the price of health care. But in hindsight, you know, and unfortunately you always have to look at what you could do better. In hindsight, we could have hired more auditors, internal auditors, external auditors. And so I wish I had. So that you That's, take responsibility for not hiring enough auditors. Absolutely. So if maybe that would have prevented it. If I may, I, I think what the McCollum campaign says to that is, is, is I mean, you, you you stepped down before these, you know, before this was finalized. You know, uh, you know, you've, the, the, we've all reported the dollar figures there. I mean, is that how how is that taking responsibility for for the for for the company? Like I said, you know, you have to, you have to say I learned lessons. I take responsibility. So you learn big lessons in business, and that's the difference. In business, you put your money up, you do the best job you can every day, and if something goes wrong, you're held accountable. You, you, you know, you pay the price. And so I learned lessons. Now, what should we have done? What could we have done better? We could have had and should have had more internal auditors and external auditors. And so those are the lessons you learn in business. You, you put out your own ads about this thing, that you, you take responsibility and learn from your mistakes. Are you, do you think you're a better businessman now because of, uh, because of this experience? I mean, do you hire, you know, do you go overboard on auditors, uh, you know, since, since that time? Uh, how have you learned from that mistake? I think, you know, I think 
Well, clearly you learn from you, you learn from everything that happens to you in life, and this is, this is an important event in my life, and so I've, I've learned from it. So, you know, you know, and the lessons you learn, you know, you're, you're, you're cautious about what industries you invest in, you're, you're cautious about, you, you know, how you make sure you figure out how to comply. Now let's think about where we are. Who's taking responsibility for ruining our economy with the unemployment? Any politicians? Who's taking responsibility for, for our uh, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? Nobody has. I promise you, I will take responsibility So for that. One thing I want to bring up, I don't know if you all saw it. The, it, it is, um, you know, this, it's, it's been an interesting race. There's a poll that came out today. We're up 43-29. Uh, over uh, over my opponent. So.